Hello everyone and welcome back to online matches. And I know that in the last episode we did a uh, Mario Kart 8, but I kind of wanted to just like have a casual conversation with you guys, as I usually do with Mario Kart. And you can't really do that with Smash. And I don't want to oversaturate the online matches series with just um. Like Mario Kart and uh, For Glory, so what I'm thinking about doing is going back to Transform next week. Um, it's kind of hard to balance things out when there's only so much I can do for the series. Um, I tried doing PlayStation All Stars um, one at one stage, but I wasn't able to find anyone. I might try that again. But we'll see. Because I I don't want to keep doing the same games all the time. I want to mix it up a bit. But there's not a lot I can do at the current moment in time. Uh, but hopefully I can mix things up at some point. In some way. Um, maybe I could just uh, have me and my one of my friends go and play a, bit, a bunch of Little Big Planet like custom made stages or something which isn't really online matches because I'm not going up against anyone but it's still an online service or whatever so I feel doing something like that could change things up because I don't again I don't want to keep going back to the same two games which is why next week I'm do, gonna do transformed and hopefully you, well when Splatoon comes out it'll be able to mix things up a lot, but that won't be until May, I think, so I'm going to have to wait a few months for that. Um, we're, we're, we're pretty much at the end of March, so two months-ish, depending on when it releases in May. Um, I don't know much outside of just being May. <laughs> I'm going to assume like mid or late May or whatever. Looking forward to playing that though, um, definitely going to be doing a lot of coverage for that for the online matches, because I'm, I'm probably going to do an LP of the story mode, but um, expect a lot of coverage for the online matches for that game, um, and it was just, it'll just be a great way to change things up, um, and yeah, hopefully I can get more games down the road to do online matches as well to mix up things uh, but yeah I'm honestly not too sure if I'm gonna be doing a podcast episode this week uh, not honestly actually not because of the fact that we don't have topics but because I wanna I kinda wanna just catch up with my own channel here um, I need to record the next session for Banjo might as well might as well finish the game, honestly, and um, I want to get some mini LPs recorded for the weekends, as I've mentioned in my update video if you've seen that. If you haven't, I highly recommend watching it if you're like a, a supporter of me, um, because it basic I basically go on about how I'm going to be handling my channel from now on, so if you haven't watched it and you are like a... If you watch my stuff regularly, and um, then I recommend watching it if you haven't. If you haven't, but yeah, I I want to just catch up with some of my own recordings and just do a do a podcast next week because I I, I want to be able to cat, uh, keep everything consistent, but I also don't want to overwhelm myself because the online matches, as you already know, um, an episode is usually around forty to an hour long so I don't want to just do do both of these because that will use up pretty much all of my time today so um, you know but one thing that has happened this week uh, well not this week I guess but recently is that there's been a comp a uh, little presentation for Project Ukulele uh, with uh, Playtonic Games 
and I'm <laughs> the more I hear about it, the more I get excited because back then I only had a um, a picture of like like eyes hiding behind a bush to work with, and now now we, that we have the pre the presentation, we have a lot of a lot more uh, of a understanding of how the game's gonna work, and. Yeah, I'm looking forward to see, looking forward to what happens because, from what they've described it as, it sounds pretty promising. Like they, they aren't gonna do something drastically different, like with uh, nuts and bolts. Uh, but they're gonna keep a good balance with the collectibles you can find. So it's not like DK64. Um, from what I hear, it's gonna be a mix. It's like it's like a middle ground between Kazooie and Tui, which I think is a good compromise, and I feel that will turn out well. Uh, I, and I'm just overall just excited to see the game in action, uh, whenever that will be. Cause it, I've been waiting for a game like this for a while now, uh, for. Possibly since the end of the N64's life life cycle, um, it's been a while since we've played a game in that style, um, and just and just having 3D platformers in general because we don't usually have that anymore. Um, you only you you gonna you can only get it from now uh, from Mario and and Sonic really. Um, I guess Ratchet and Clank, but those. Those don't come out as frequently, but still, um, it's just such a sh such a shame. There was such a huge drought in 3D platformers. Like the GameCube era mixed things up a bit. That's arguably arguably more uh, my favorite era of gaming. Uh, arguably though, I don't know for certain because that's. Very much gonna. That's hard to say, like exactly, but it was definitely one of my favorite eras. Um, just the the way everything was. You didn't get the same thing all the time. You kept. It was bad. It felt more balanced. So you didn't really know what to get. Yeah, you didn't really know what you were getting most of the time, and that made it. That made gaming feel refreshing. And that's something I kind of miss nowadays, because, like, most of the time you just see the generic shooters and, and like, all this stuff. And it, it's just, like, the football games, FIFA, Madden, and all those kinds of games. I, I'm not saying that any of those games are bad. What I'm saying is that it feels like we keep... We are pretty much getting the same games all the time and it just it's just getting to the point where it just get it's just getting boring and repetitive and I want to see so I want to see new things like I want developers to um, experiment more I guess is a good way to put it because we don't really see that that often nowadays yeah I want to see another N64 or GameCube era where Creativity was all over the place, and you never knew what what to expect. And it was just so that's what made gaming so fun for me back in the day, because you know, there was so much creativity going around, and you didn't really know what you were getting. Um, and I can't, again, I just kind of miss that nowadays, because you you know most of the time what you're gonna get, and. Very rarely will, will you see some, like, something unique. And that just kind of makes me sad. And it's why I tend to stick with Nintendo, because, yeah, they don't really make that many new IPs, but at least the ones they, that they have, they try to be as unique as possible with them. Because look at, like, Mario 64, Sunshine, and Galaxy. All those games are pretty dang different. Like, they have the same basic design and whatnot, but in terms of gameplay mechanics and how the level design works, it just 
how the game plays. All those games are pretty different, and they they do make uh, they do make new IPs um, every once in a while, but it's not a big thing they do, I guess. But I do appreciate it when they do things like that, like with Splatoon and Wonderful 101. Uh, those games I appreciate a lot because it's something unique that we haven't seen before, and it's just refreshing. Uh, so, I, I'm just kind of tired, tired of seeing the same things all the time, and again, I'm not, I'm not saying those those kinds of games are bad any by any means. Like, yeah, we get a Mario, Mario Kart game every console. At least they're good games. But, you know. Like, so, Nintendo could be more creative than... I, I, sometimes they're less creative than I'd like them to be. But... What they do... I think it's I think it's decent I guess like it's more it's more I find it them to be more creative than the other companies at this moment moment in time uh, but yeah it's just it just feels that AA AAA games are starting to become stagnant as of as of late it just people don't seem to be whack have like wacky ideas anymore which is, again, why I stick with Nintendo, because I feel that even though they use the same IPs a lot of the time, at least they know how to change things up, which is what I appreciate. Ugh. <sighs> but, yeah. If you guys have any stunts current stance on the gaming industry then please please let me know because like this is an interesting uh, topic to discuss I feel um, and it yeah I just just kind of wish that gaming was more diverse nowadays uh, like to be honest I'm spending I'm spending more of my money on games I missed out on over over the years, and I'm like going back to the retro stuff. I'm not really going for new games recently. Um, like I'm still, I'm still like looking at games like uh, Star Fox Wii U and all that stuff. But for the most part, I'm going back to the retro stuff because I feel that that's the time when games were more interesting, you know. But yeah, that's just. That might just be me, but that's just how I feel. Ish. Like, I don't doubt that games, like games that look, that turn out to be really good, will start releasing for all consoles soon. But as of right now, uh, for me, the Wii U is the only uh, current gen system that has uh, stuff going for it. Um, like, so. You can argue that Sony do make new IPs, but they they don't really put energy into into the mice. They don't really put that much energy into them in the fact in the sense that they make something new. Yes, that's a good thing, but they don't ex really expand upon that those ideas, and like they don't build a foundation for it. Um, it's basic, basically what I see them doing is that they make a new game, they make a new IP, they have a basic idea going, but then they just kind of drop it, and then the IP just kind of dies, with with exceptions here and there. But like they they don't seem to expand upon their initial ideas in the sense that okay, we're gonna. We're gonna make this this new franchise, and here's the idea of it. Here's how the game works. Here's what you're gonna do, and yeah, that's all great and all. The pro problem is they don't expand upon it like they do, like Nintendo does with like the Mario series. 
uh, and makes makes the gameplay refined and refreshing, and makes the like the stages stand out from each other, with the level the level design complementing the the gameplay mechanics and whatnot. And from what I see, it just seems bland. Um, yes, making new IPs is a good thing. Making different uh, making like new styles is a good thing. Like I said, I want to see more uh, diversity, but you also need to make it good. Like you also need you mean you need to make it actually competent and fu you know fun to play and all. And um, that that's kind of where I feel Sony has been like going down the hill from going downhill for me. But I love Sony. I've grown up with the grown up with Sony since the PS1 days. I really want to uh, support support them as much as I can. Um, but they what they seem to be doing is that again making new IPs, great and all. But then they just kind of don't know what they're doing and just make the make the game generic and kind of bland. Because like, from what I've seen of Knack, Knack, it looks like a fine beat-em-up slash platform or whatever the hell you want to call that game. Um, like, at, it, at its core, it looks pretty decent. The problem is, though, is that it doesn't try anything unique that hasn't been seen before, and it doesn't really try to expand upon its gameplay. From what I've seen, it's pretty much the standard stuff throughout the whole thing. And... You can say that about a lot of games, but I feel it's it, the game gets the game is better if you uh, have something like Mario Galaxy, where it starts off simple, but then it builds it builds upon itself as you learn game mechanics and like how things work, and it just it builds a foundation of the gameplay and it makes. It expands upon itself, I guess is the best way to put it. The problem with a the pro that's the problem I've been having with a lot of other games is that they don't expand upon themselves. It stays the same basic kind of thing throughout the whole adventure, with a few exceptions, like a few a few levels here and there. But either way, it. I just feel that Sony's games don't really try hard enough to be their own thing nowadays, if that makes sense. And say what you will about Nintendo making the same things all the time, at least they try to be unique. Um, like, Mario Kart 8, yeah it's basically Mario Kart 7, but the level design is much more <laughs> unique I guess. I, I, I feel I'm saying that word too much, but either way, um, this game has a lot has a lot better tracks, a lot more better tracks, like whatever you know what I'm saying, and it feels a lot more refined than Seven did, and with the added anti gravity, it makes things a little bit more fresh, not too much, but it makes you think a lot a little bit more of how you want to go about a track, and. It, it just, it's a lot better design than 7 was in general, and they they built upon a, they've been building upon a foundation of Mario Kart and making it, and they've been making it more refined with every installment, and, you know, that's something you should do with sequels, you should, with the first game, get something, get the main basic, the basic idea down, and then in future games, uh, you expand upon it, making it greater and greater as you go by. Like, look at with the Crash games. Um, Crash One has aged has aged quite a bit. I still enjoy it, but it has aged quite a bit. And but then they expanded upon Crash, expanded upon it with Crash Two and Three, with some of the most well received platformers I've from that generation, and just, that's just the way you should make a, a sequel, like, ex expand upon the, expand upon the already made foundation and make it even greater than it already was.
And yeah. And even... And again, people go on about how Nintendo makes the same games all the time, but again, at least they make each game feel distinct from each other. Yeah, it's the same basic formula, uh, like in the 3D Mario games, but at least they change things up. Like, the only exception to this would be New Super Mario Brothers, and, uh, pardon me, I won't defend New Super Mario Brothers. Else, Mario U is a pretty good game, but in general, that series is pretty much uh, is pretty much the same uh, basic thing all the time. So I won't really defend that series. Um, but at least at least they don't shy away from like being unique for most of their most of the other things they do. Um, like, say what you were about the car in Mario Party 9 and 10. At least they're trying to be unique. You know. And I can't fault them for that. And I know developer, different developers make the game, make each game. I'm talking in general here. Like, not Nintendo specifically, but all the, the developers who make all the games for the consoles. You know what I mean. I'm talking in general here. But yeah. Ugh. Got that rant off my chest. Hey. I, 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 I've been rambling enough about that though, but yeah, I just... I just wish we had another PS2 GameCube era again, you know? Uh, but that again, it's why I've been I've been following more of the indie crowd and the uh, and like what what should we call it? The the the, the, the I, I can't speak. That's why I've been following more of the indie crowd and the and and Nintendo recently because Again, they know how to change things up. Like, yes, yeah, it's, it's there's they we know what to expect for the most part, but at least they make things different. So, like Smash Brothers, we expect that every generation now, but at least they cha know how to change things up every time. Like, Melee is significantly different to Brawl, and. Like, Brawl is significantly different to Smash 4, at least in my opinion. But that that's just how I see it, really. Like, Melee set the found- the- really set, like, all the foundations for Smash Brothers, but the other games still feel different in their own right. It's m more so, like, for the mechanics and, like, the- the modes. Some the like some games have that the other games don't, but as a whole, all the games in the series just feel so different from from each other. Uh, but yeah, oh man. And again with the 3D Mario games. At least they, at least they try to be diff try to make something different with each game, you know. Ah, oh, that was a long rant. I. Going back to that Project Ukulele thing though, um, I really want to see where they take it in this day and age. Like, I'm really hoping that Project Ukulele and uh, A Hat in Time bring back the 3D platformer craze. Because that's something, again, something I've been missing for so many years now. I want it to, I want those games to come back with a vengeance, you know? But I digress. Hopefully, well, Michael An Michael Ansel has said that 
a 3D a 3D Rayman game has been planned since Origins. Uh, since Origin, Origin, <coughs> Origins was being developed. So hopefully we'll see something from Rayman soon, like a pet a potential Rayman Four. Because he did say that it's not out of the question that they'll bring back the original Rayman 4 idea. So, you know, we'll see. I am really hoping for something to happen. Like, for maybe a game in the style of Rayman... The, a game in the basic style of Rayman 3, but have its own villains, something we haven't seen before, and... You new worlds and stuff, but I would I would love to see the gems and like the score the score from Rayman 3 return because I really love that system. Um, it it gave you a good incentive to get a good high score, even though it didn't really mean that much in the run, in the long run. You didn't really care anyways because you just felt good to get a good a good high score. Kind of in this in a similar vein of Luigi's Mansion. In the sense that getting all the money gets you a good rank at the end of the game, but that doesn't really mean that much in the long run. But you don't, you don't care anyway because it's so satisfying to do so anyway. So if they bring that back, I'll be all for it because I love that system in Rayman 3. But we'll see. It's really hard to tell what they'll do for a 3D Rayman game now because it's been like. 13, 12, so many years since we've got we've gotten a 3D 3D platformer from the series. Uh, Rayman 3 came out in like 2002 on, or something, so it's been like 13 years or so at least. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what how they handle handle it in this day and age, like you know. And say again, same with Project Ukulele. Like, we can expect, we know what to expect for the most part um, in like uh, a hat in time because we've seen gameplay of it. We know the basic basic idea of what that game is going to be like. With Project Project Ukulele and a potential fourth Rayman uh, 3D platformer, or a potential Rayman 4. We don't really know what to expect because, yeah, we have a basic idea of what they want to do, but in terms of how the game's going to play and how the mechanics will be, we really don't know any of that. So, yeah, we just have to wait and see what happens. Ugh, but yeah. I do like. Project Ukulele, uh, or Platonic Games even, they said that the the characters in Project Ukulele will be uh, featured, most of them will be featured in their own games, so that's going to be interesting to see. I find it just pretty amazing how a mere six or seven or so people can make like big games like that, because at the moment they're a pretty small team, but they, it, it doesn't stop them from making like really stellar game because they have a goal to make it the best game they've made ever so with that fact I have high really high hopes for the game so I don't I don't expect to see much of the game I don't expect to even see a teaser for four five months from now at least um, because again it's like a seven, it's a really small team, and they it Platonic Games has only have only been like a thing for like five or so weeks. So the fact that they've already got a foundation going now is pretty pretty outstanding, you know. And I'm just I can't wait to see what else they uh what what they come up with. Because it's great to see that their creativity hasn't gone down the drain. Because I was afraid that they they would have they would have run out of ideas. Uh, but it's it's good to see that they haven't. They still have a good uh, 
creativity flow going, and it, it's just going to be great to see how things turn out for, for the team in general. But yeah, I wouldn't expect to see, like, gameplay of any sort for a good four months or so. But it's good to see, like, it's good to hear some conf confirmation about a few things from the, from the team themselves. Yeah. How long have I wanna? How long have I been recording for? I've been kind of rambling. I haven't really been paying attention to the game that much. Really. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna check how much, how long I've been recording for, and judge how many, how long I, how many races I'll do after through that. Okay, let's see. Yeah. I've only been recording for half an hour, so hmm, I'll be able to do some a little bit more, I suppose. Okay. Well, I don't want. No, I don't want to quit. <laughs> That's the last thing I want to do. I want to do right now. I'm probably gonna do two more races after this and just call it a day because I I feel I I don't I don't want to just make these series make the series of like online matches I can't words I don't want to make online match online matches episodes drag on for way too long uh, and again I, I kind of get tired of doing the same two games constantly so yeah. Kind of, I, I'm not really burnt out on Smash because that takes a long time for me to get burnt out uh, with. But with Mario Kart 8, I've been playing it quite a lot recently, so I kind of want to stop for a little bit because I, I don't want to just burn myself out with these games and then just yeah, you know, you know. <sighs> How have you guys been doing though? <laughs> uh, I've been doing pretty decently. Yeah. Uh, I managed I passed English so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Um Past a maths, uh, maths test, and IT's going pretty decently for the most part. Uh, well, I'm really, I really want to aim to get a job before Easter. I know I, I, I think I've mentioned some, something of this. I, I think I've mentioned this in the update video. I'm looking for a job at the moment, so. Yeah, I want to I want to aim to get something before the Easter break. That's my goal. I can't uh, guarantee myself that I'll be able to get one in that time frame, but at least I want to at least be able to get somewhere before the Easter break, you know. But yeah. Yeah, I made him. I was trying to find a like do an awesome shortcut that no one would no one would ever think to do, but yeah, kind of failed. Ah, okay, whatever. That's why everyone was at like the end there. <laughs>
Oh man. Okay. Go random. We've already played this level. <laughs> I'm hoping to get this channel really, um, just hoping to make it get, get it packed with content real, really soon. Uh, like, I still have a bunch of Unleashed to upload, and I'm gonna be finishing Kazooie hopefully shortly after this recording, but yeah, I'm trying to, trying to. Uh, like record things in advance and get like a bunch of LPs done so then I have a good a good like upload system going where I don't have a, a massive delay again which in the update video I said I want to prevent that from happening anymore and for, for the most part that's going decently fine um, this week was kind of a kind of a mess because I really wasn't sure if I should have re just redone Unleashed HD with just myself because I I don't know to be honest because I yeah I've been enjoying the co-op run but part of me wish wishes I just kind of did it alone and also the fact that. If when I have like a guest along, it makes this, it makes it kind. Of, there's like a little bit of lag. Like it's not super noticeable, but you can still no see it. Like it's there, uh, and I don't. I can't really fix that at this moment in time. I need to get a better processor and all that kind of stuff. But at this moment. I can't really do anything about that, and I don't know, I feel I could have done, I feel I could have structured the Unleashed play for a lot better, uh, I really want to know what you guys think about that, because that's something that's just been bugging me for a long time now, like, I kind of want to re just redo it in general, but another part of me doesn't because then the other the person I'm doing it with will get really mad and I'll be losing a good six or so hours of content I just don't really know what to do about it hard really kind of hard to say to be honest if you guys have any suggestions of what you think I should do about it, please, please let me know, because that will be greatly appreciated. Okay, finishing off at the, re the new Rainbow Road. How appropriate. Yeah, I've been. I just want to cl clarify though. I have been having fun with the co-op run of Unleashed. Though I kind of feel I want to do a solo run. Uh, I just. I don't even know. I feel so. I feel so conflicted in my thoughts right now. I don't know what to do. Ay ay ay. Because like, as you all know, I don't usually do that kind of thing. I do like special guest appearances here and there, but I don't oversaturate it. I have never have I never before have I done a full a full on co-op playthrough, and I really don't know if that's the best way the best way for me to go about an LP. I just I might have to 
give a good talking to to the co-op partner, but yeah, I, I I feel so conflicted right now. I'm just, I don't know what to say anymore, I just, uh, well, I got a lot of things off my chest, um, yeah. If you guys think I should redo Unleashed with just myself, please let me know. I, uh, hmm. uh, I could do, uh, well, I'm going to be redoing Un Unleashed Wii, so... Mm. Huh. I'm trying I'm trying ways to compromise, in the sense that, to keep the co-op playthrough going, but also to do uh, something else to... Yeah, I'm, I'm really trying hard to compromise it, but I really... I'm having a hard time to think of ways to do that, you know. Like maybe I could do keep the co-op run going and have a solo run at the same time, but that would be kind of redundant. I, I don't know what to do, man. Ah, uh, and it just get—it's just driving me up the wall. It really is. Again, I'm probably going to have to talk to my co-op partner for, with that. See what they say. Uh, I don't re I just... Help me! <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> hey. Oh yeah, I'm going to end this session. How many points am I going? Oh. Actually kinda getting to ten thousand. Not bad. But I uh See you guys next week. Again. If you have any ideas of what you want what you think I should do, like if you think I should just keep go keep the co-op run going for unleashed. Hey, Unleashed HD, let me know. Did you think I should just cancel the LP and restart it as a solo LP? Then let me know as well. Or if you think I should do a solo and a co-op run. Uh, like, what, any, whatever you guys think uh, would be the best choice, please let me know, because that would be greatly appreciated. Um, Either way though, I'll see you guys next week for a return to Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transform. It's going to be interesting because I haven't played that game in a while. <laughs> so, see you guys then. Peace out.